Hello everyone, my name is Rig Zanotti, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip from Relate. Well, this is actually a PowerPoint Quick Tip, but you can use it with your Captivate projects, as well as your Articulate and or Trivanta Selectora projects, or any project that you're using as an authoring tool. What this allows you to do is save you a lot of time from having to go to Photoshop, which is what we had to do in the old days. I, there's a new feature in PowerPoint 2010. This is not in previous versions. And it's called Remove Background. It's a transparency feature which gets rid of backgrounds. Now here I have this smiling lad with a background behind him, but I need to get rid of his background so he fits in the scene. Well, in the old days, literally about a half day ago, I would have gone to Photoshop to do this. But I had the pleasure of attending a Tom Coleman PowerPoint webinar today, and I learned this little trick, so I thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, we go over here to the Remove Background button. And PowerPoint does its thing and removes most of the background. Now over here, you can see what it's removed. It removed a little bit too much. So we want to get some of that back. So what we're going to do is click on things that we would like to keep. In other words, areas that we'd like to keep. And we want to be able to keep everything here that's in the, oops, let me make sure that's selected. And we're starting to get more stuff back. You notice we got part of a shirt back. We're getting the notebook back. So I'm going to click more on the notebook. There we go. I think we got the notebook back. If you look on the preview, you'll see the notebook. And I think we've got a pretty clean shot at this. I'm going to say keep changes. And what do you know? Look at that. We got him out of his background. And this looks pretty good for less than a minute worth of work. I'm going to press F5 for the full screen preview. Look at that. We probably did that in less than a minute. No Photoshop required. Uh, is it perfect? No, but it's pretty darn close. And um, I can fix his head. We lost a little bit of his head up there. So let's go back in. We noticed the change, so we're going to double click again. And up here, let me go into things I want to keep. I want to keep his hair. There we go. His hair is now nice and dark. So I'm going to say save. We're going to hit F5. Ah, that's perfect. So there you go. A quick way to remove a background in your PowerPoint files. And then you could group this image. I can grab both of the images. Um, and from here, you could group them, save them as a picture, import them into something else. And uh, you've got a nice little solution for removing backgrounds without having to be a graphic artist. So I can say group right there. I can group the whole image. Now it's one. We can actually export the image, save it out. So there's a lot of things we can do here just in PowerPoint without having to go to Photoshop. Saves you a lot of time, energy, and money. And this puts it in the hands of instructional designers, PowerPoint presenters, business people, and anybody else who wants to do work like this but doesn't know how. Well, now you know. Anyway, I am Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation. This has been another Captivate Quick Tip. Please visit our website at www.relate.com -E and take our free 24-hour lynda.com pass. lynda.com has some of the best training on the Internet. Now, actually, they have the best training on the Internet. Love their products, and you can get a free 24-hour pass at our website, www.relate.com. We will see you next time. Have a good evening.